have the neatest thing to show y'all today, and this is by request of one of my subscribers that goes by the name of W.R. Gwen. And Bill, I hope I got your name right. Uh, this is called a 1-2-3 cake, and some people call it a 3-2-1 cake because it's easier to remember that way. But what you do is you mix together a box of angel food cake mix and any other flavor of cake mix that you like. I'm just going to use a yellow cake mix. You mix the two together and then you can make a instant cake with it. Uh, Bill said it was better if you use one part of angel food cake mix to two parts of cake mix and I tried it that way and I agree it is better that way. So you could mix up a box of cake mix with half a box of angel food and just have it in a jar on hand when you want it. So I just have the two different cake mixes in these jars and I'm going to mix them up this way. Okay, I have angel food cake in this jar and the yellow cake mix in this jar. I'm just going to take one tablespoon of the angel food cake, put it in a coffee cup, and two parts of the yellow cake mix, and put that in there. So that gives you three tablespoons of cake mix. That's where the three comes in. And now you need two tablespoons of water. That's two. Now I'll just mix that up thoroughly and then microwave it for one minute. Here it is right out of the microwave. In just one minute you have a cake. After it has cooled for a minute or so, I'll pry it up off of the cup and put a plate on there and flip it upside down. There you go. In one minute you have a cake. It tastes a lot like those little strawberry shortcake cups to me. So since I have some strawberries, I wonder if that's what we're going to do with it. And I have some Spiffy Whip that you can whip up in about a minute. It's one tablespoon of Spiffy Whip to one tablespoon of water. And I just whipped it up with a fork. Ta-da! Strawberry shortcake in one minute. Unbelievable. Now I'm going to show you how Bill makes pineapple upside down cake with this. Take a little bit of pineapple. Put it in the bottom of the cup. I'm only using about half a tablespoon. First time I did this, I really got carried away with the pineapple. Just barely covering the bottom with the pineapple. Put a cherry in the middle. Add a few chopped nuts, a tablespoon of brown sugar, just sprinkle that around evenly, and add two pats of butter to it. I'm going to cut this up to get it even. I'm using one part of the angel food cake mix and two parts of the yellow cake mix. These are one tablespoon each. That's a total of three tablespoons of cake mix. Then add two tablespoons of pineapple juice. And mix this up thoroughly. This reminds me of Alan 2045. She's been doing a lot of cooking for two videos lately. So be sure to look her up, and I'll put a link in the description box. I believe she had a version of a pineapple upside down cake in small batches, uh, cooking that from scratch. 
Now that the cake mix is mixed up, just pour it on top of the pineapple mixture. Now microwave this for one minute and 20 seconds. So here it is. And I'm going to invert it onto a plate. So there you go, a pineapple upside down cake in a matter of minutes. Just minutes. <laughs> now how cool is that? Now let's see how it tastes. Mmm. This is delicious. Absolutely delicious. It's so easy. Bill, this cake is excellent. I thank you so much for this recipe. Now, I told Bill it might be a few days before I get around to this because I went to the dentist yesterday and had a filling replaced in one of my teeth that had fallen out and it didn't hurt or anything. But when the dentist was done, he said that he had exposed a nerve and I was probably going to hurt for about a week. <laughs> And he said that I started out in the best place possible and the fact that I came in not hurting, <laughs> that things could only get worse from there. <laughs> he has some bedside manner. I about fell out of the chair laughing. But it turns out it hurt like heck yesterday, but it's fine today. <laughs> So that's how you can make one, two, three cake. I hope it helps.